Hey guys, my name is Hannah, and uh, this is our Contentino tutorial where I'm going to show you the main features of Contentino. So let's do it. Right after you log in into your account, you see the dashboard. On the left side, you always see all the channels you are managing. And right in the middle, you see all the posts that you have scheduled for today. And on the right side, you always see your tasks and below the tasks of your colleagues. So the whole dashboard works pretty well to have a very nice quick overview. But let's go to the calendar where all the magic is happening. The first thing you do, you always choose the page you want to work with. Uh, after that, you go over here and you select your content plan. Ours are created based on months, but you can create your own based on campaigns or whatever works the best for you. Here, you always see the whole overview of the current month. So I can see that for June, I have 29 posts scheduled. This is the boost budget I want to use on it. And below, I see the labels. Labels can serve either for a better content distribution or for labeling different ad formats, for labeling different uh, post types, or it's basically up to you. The whole calendar works very well with a drag and drop function. So whenever you want to move your post, you can just drag it and drop it to the other day. This is also the way how copying your post work and you can just drag it, drop it over here, here you select the channel where you want to copy your post to, you select your content plan and your post gets automatically copied there. If you want to move your post to another channel, you just drag it, drop it down here this time. Again, select the channel when you want to move your post, you select the content plan and your post gets moved there. Very smooth. Next to the calendar, we have the inspiration section. The inspiration works for all the people who are giving you inspirations for content. Now they don't have to share their ideas with you in emails or calls, but they can just very easily all go here and insert their ideas right here. So let's say that your client is launching a new product. So your client goes over here, they type it uh, into the inspiration, save it, and you back in your calendar, you would see the inspiration as a placeholder as this little light bulb. Whenever you hover over it, you would see the inspiration and you would know that you already have some content there that you can start creating your content on. You can either use it this way or also whenever there is some kind of public holiday, national day of water, national day of hamburgers, and just to keep everything in mind. After inspirations, we have the albums. Albums are the storage of all the visual material, is the place where you can just put all your videos and pictures you're using when creating your content. Next to the albums, we have insights and reporting. This is the place where you can find your insights and create reports from both uh, Facebook and Instagram, but we will talk about this a little bit more in details in the next video.